Hi, my name is Teresa Stifers, and I'm the Executive Director of Walden Family Services. We are a 39-year-old foster care and adoption agency specializing in working with children with special health care needs, developmental disabilities, who come from large sibling groups, who have behavioral or emotional issues, and who identify as LGBTQ. The backgrounds that the children um, have to face before they come into Walden are often very horrendous and a nightmare it's situation. Unfortunately, uh, nationally and at the state level, the outcomes for these youths are very dismal when they emancipate from foster care. Because we serve the most challenging population in foster care and adoption services, unfortunately, the level of government funding that's available to provide all the critical care for these children is not sufficient to meet all of their needs. We have hired at our own expense nurse consultants, behavioral therapists, psychiatrists, psychologists, and a wide variety of medical and uh, mental professionals who can make sure that each child re re receives the individual care that they need in order to become a successful adult. A really good example is Lacey Bowman, who had a very difficult childhood and came from a very abusive background. However, today she's a beautiful, loving mother to two wonderful children who will not enter into foster care. She foster home and it went well it went really good and they took legal guardianship of me when I was um, 12 I believe. so then I kind of dropped off from Walden which that's their whole purpose is to find people their forever home it's called so it was great they did their job and I lost contact from 12 to 18 and I was in my senior year 18 years old and it was <coughs> excuse me it was spring break and um, my foster mom uh, wasn't waking up, so I went to check on her, and she actually passed away. I was with a lady named Adriana, and she really took me and did things that I would have never done on my own. We did college tours and financial aid, paperwork, and all those things that don't seem like a big deal, but when you don't know anything about it, it's a big deal, and it's very overwhelming. I lived in Julian and I drove three hours round trip to school, so they were really good about finding ways to individualize what I needed, not just a blanket scholarship. <laughs> she recently graduated with a diploma from Grossmont College, and she plans to pursue a bachelor's degree when her children are a little older in school. And none of that would have been possible without the support, the generous support of funders like you. We were able to help her pay for daycare. We were able to provide her with gas um, and other expenses so that she could get her degree. With success stories like Lacey, we can be very proud of the work that we do here in San Diego County and know that we've made a difference in the life of a child and that child can grow up to become a productive and wonderful human being like Lacey Bowman.